by the way, before we go anywhere, let's talk a little bit about a uh, disclaimer. This is live on Tranquility. So while this is a practical demonstration, there is uh, an above 0% chance it'll just get totally messed up. It could be, you could get, I could jump one thing and get camped. You know, that's just the way the content works. And we're going to see how it all goes. One thing that a lot of people who are streamers worry about is something like OPSEC. And in this case, OPSEC is kind of, uh, would be kind of cool because if people are watching my stream and they see that I'm just doing hacking sites and nonchalantly, they know what system I'm in. They can come and hunt me down real quick. It's no problem. To me, that's still content, at least a little bit. We'll, we'll see where that goes, if that ends up happening. There's some people that care a lot more about that, and generally speaking, want to do OPSEC, especially as streaming. So the way I deal with this is kind of twofold. First of all, I do have uh, this gutter on this side uh, where my video is. I have that area cut out. Honestly, this is less for security purposes and more for just privacy issues. I usually keep all of my chats in the gutter. I have a big thing about not putting somebody on stream if they weren't ready for it, you know? This show it covers up chat and all that sort of stuff, but it also does cover up the top left, which is one of the big ways that people figure things out. Now, as far the thing that pisses me off, the thing I hate is streamers who cover up their overview because of OPSEC. This pisses me off because as, if I'm watching a stream, I'm watching it to, like, see what's happening. And, and so if you cover up the thing that lets me understand what's happening around you, well, that sucks. So here's how I fix that problem. In my tab that I show, I right-click, and then I go to Columns, and I go to Change Order. And I make sure that the name is way down at the bottom and that type comes before name. So what I can now do is I can go like this and now you can't see that this is that solar system. If it, it you know, with stargates, if I, if I, I'd have to do it on this side too. With the stargates, I'd have to be able to know like, okay, well, these are the systems. Now there's a couple things. First of all, you still get to see it in the selected window and you can still see it when somebody warps the text, the text right here uh, for warp. Some people like to cover that up and that up too. But here's the thing, okay? Here's the real talk about that. Here's for all of you streamers out there and potential streamers of EVE Online. And it's all security theater. Anything that you do for yourself is security theater. In fact, it's worse than security theater because here's the deal. These guys, I can dock up and I can type your name into a little box and an agent is going to tell me where you are. And if I can even just see the nebulas around you, I can make sure I'm at least in the right region. And then I can get that information incredibly quickly. And then it doesn't matter how much OPSEC that you've done. So all you've really done by covering up all that stuff is annoy the people that are trying to watch your videos and tempted anyone who wants to hunt you down because now they know how hard you are trying to hide. It is... Above all else, in EVE, if you want to get away in streaming without having to worry about stream snipers as much or blah, 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 it's to simply embrace it. If you're streaming, guess what? It's content. If it all goes well, that's content. If it doesn't all go well, it's content. If you care about the results of the operation so much that you're that invested that a stream sniper could totally ruin it, then you may want to think about how to integrate the idea that stream snipers might happen or do those things when you're not streaming. I'm just saying. That's my advice to you. All that said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the agency. If I was in high sec, I'd have to use the combat anomaly system, but I can use faction warfare, faction warfare systems, and I have it filtered within 10 jumps, Kaldari state, rear guard. And I'm looking for either data or waylaid state couriers. So there's one waylaid. There's two data. Nothing there. Nothing there. There's a data in Heary. It was Soda. Oh, there's two data in Holonen. Nenamelia. Akadagi. Nope. So I choose my targets. We are going to try to get to Holonen. A boon is sometimes camped. 
I think stream sniping is kind of lame. So the thing is, is this, I, this is what I believe. So, and I, it's worth noting that, you know, Nixie is uh, from Final Fantasy 14, which has a different attitude about it. The thing about EVE Online is that one of the things that's magical about it is that it's a single shard. We're all in this together. You're not just watching me play the game. You are in the same universe with me. Wa watching me play the game is a way of playing the game. There are people that watch my stream to gain intel, right? That is part of their personal gameplay. But more importantly, EVE Online as a sandbox, sandbox's primary focus is the ability to be able to impact other players for good and for ill. And so, in my opinion, that just kind of falls into it. I think that there's something truly special about the fact that any one of my viewers can interact with me pretty much at any time for good or for ill. I've had people send me a billion isk. I've had people stream snipe me. But that is their choice. And we all get to experience it either way. That's, I, I, that's legitimately my feeling about it. I, I do understand that that would be very, very different in another game. Also, I tend to try to do things that, like, when, I do, when I'm streaming, like, Faction Warfare, like, of course, if you come and fight me, yay, that's, that's what I'm here for. And if you stream snipe me by knowing what my fit is, uh, you could also have done that by just going to my kill board. Anywho, let's see how a boon is. The other thing that I try to do to keep myself safe, since location is not about being safe, it's about fast and unpredictable, right? When I run the abyss, I try not, I just go, oh, I'm going to just, I'm going to run an abyss or two, you know? You don't want to run abyss for three hours on stream with a three billion is Gila, you know? If you're afraid of something, then uh, know that you're on, the, the, t the timer's ticking. And if you go in, look, I'll tell you this right now. If you yeet into Null and then get mad that the, uh, that the people that live in Null uh, stream snipe you, um, you've missed the point entirely. Of Eve, of streaming, of Null. Okay, but Null camps are pure camps. I didn't say that Null camps aren't pure cancer. But I'm saying, like, the idea that if you're roaming around in somebody's null sec, if you're roaming around in Pandemic Horde's area, the chances that one of them is watching your stream is very, very high if your stream has a good number on it. And what do you want them to do? Let you just run ramp shot? Run ramp shot? Ramp shot? When they're videotaping you ransacking their territory? No. I mean, like, that that's the game. It's still better to stream in OPSEC than potato mode. Yeah, I don't know. I could definitely see that, like, if somebody, if what somebody's doing is so, like, important to see, but yet they still have to run it in potato mode, then by all means. Yeah, if you're just trying to show off the game, like I'm doing today, I, I agree. You should show off a pretty version of the game. Oh, yeah, roaming game content is mwah. I love it, for sure.